If you're looking for something unique to do while visiting Kona, be sure to visit Parrots in Paradise, a non-profit sanctuary for parrots on the big island of Hawaii. We started the sanctuary about 15, 16 years ago, and it really was an accident with us first having parrots as pets. They started really small with lovebirds, cockatiels, and like budgies, and then they reproduced and multiplied. And we were like, what are we doing? This is a little bit overwhelming. There's a fellow who had a collection of 15 parrots. And he couldn't take care of them anymore, and he basically asked us to take them in, and we did, and that's when we started to be more geared towards turning into a sanctuary. Each year that's gone by, we've learned so much more about the parrots, how to take care of them, their diet, how to construct the cages. It's definitely a labor of love. You can have multiple species living with one another and coexisting and figuring it out. Normally in the wild they're in a flock and they're always interacting with one another. But you know there is fighting that goes on to figure that order out. Sometimes we have to split them up because there's just too much fighting that goes on. Other times we just have to be really patient with it and hope that it works out. There have been hoarding situations of someone keeping 40 parrots or 60 parrots. It's, it's crazy the amount of parrots that are just kind of abused here on the island and because they live for such a long time and jump from so many different owners that's traumatic for a lot of birds. What we focus on is mainly trying to give parrots a sanctuary to where they can feel more at home. We try to do our best with finding new homes for them and finding the person that is best going to fit for that bird to where they'll just be a new family and then like a new fresh start for them. Normally when someone wants to adopt from the sanctuary, we educate them and make sure that you have the right setup and you know what it's going to take to have a parrot as a pet. A lot of people go in trying to have parrots as pets, but then they get caught off guard and really don't know what to do with the animal because they just don't know how to take care of it or handle it. And that's why we've acquired so many of them. My cockatoos can be very loving, energetic, and playful, and cuddly, whereas African greys like their own personal space a little bit more. But you can still pet them, cuddle them. It all depends on their personality. We have about 30 or so macaws. They're the hardest to adopt out because not a lot of people have experience with them. They live such a long time. They need bigger cages. They're more dangerous because of how powerful their beaks are. We have many different types from blue and golds to scarlet macaws to Catalina, military, and some hybrids. That's the biggest need is having to home these macaws here on the Big Island. The Eclectus is a really cool uh, and beautiful parrot where the males have the candy corn beak and then the green with the red in their wing pits and some blues. The females look completely different. They have red and purple, some yellow and orange. So out of any parrot species in the, in the world, they're the most different as far as females and males go. We also have the blue hyacinth, that is the biggest macaw in the world. They are endangered and their beaks are so powerful and they crack through mac nuts like nothing. Okay. I'd say that our mascot is a cockatoo. She loves everyone. Her name is Kissy. She is just such a sweetheart and she blows kisses to people so that in and of itself shows how much she loves people. That's Kissy. She wants to have something to say um, about that. Most of these birds have a story, sometimes joyous, sometimes tragic, but always moving. If you'd like to learn more about these majestic and beautiful parrots, go to Airbnb's website. Click on Kailua Kona Hawaii Experiences. Under there you'll see a parrot sanctuary.